Some people seem to be naturally optimistic, but that seems to be the exception, not the rule, which is a shame. So there's so much negativity around at times that it can be hard to keep looking on the bright side. But it definitely pays. To a fair extent, we reflect our thoughts. Which means if you're always laden with doom, your whole physiology will tend towards the negative. Being optimistic is more often is definitely something worth aiming for. Starting with, it can be as simple as keeping a gratitude journal, a notebook where you keep a note of all the things you're grateful for. I keep it by the side of my bed and make it a habit to write things down, at least three things each day that you're grateful for what have happened to you today, because there always are things. They can be as small or as big as is appropriate. It's the mere fact that you're actually writing them down and that you're grateful makes them good enough to be included. Then reframe your words as much as possible, speaking the positive more often. So if someone asks you how you're feeling, instead of instinctively saying, not bad, turn it around and say something like, I'm good, thanks. It may sound a small change, but our minds take our words and they take them literally and they struggle to process negatives. So saying not bad is actually interpreted by our mind as saying bad, which won't help your overall optimism levels. Another easy solution is becoming more optimistic is to smile more often. Smiling is infectious, so when you smile at other people, most of them will smile back. It's a virtuous circle, as you'll be spreading happiness rather than gloominess. Do your best to find the upside on everything you encounter. Sometimes it's as close to the surface as, as you can find, other times it's hiding, but it's there. And the mere act of looking for it will help you find it, and help you to become more optimistic generally. Plus people will start to notice you as being more cheerful, and optimistic, which is always a good thing. Focus on finding solutions, because we've all met people who seem to sort of basically look for 101 ways for a project to fail, but could almost instantly rule out anything that might succeed. Make sure you're the person who sees the things that might succeed, the positive side of things, wherever possible, and tune out the naysayers as much as you can. Reduce the amount of time you spend with them if it's possible. Not always, but you can. And do your best to believe that good things will happen. Partly the law of attraction, what we focus on is what we get. We get more of it and it works just as well for being optimistic. If you're more optimistic, you'll get more optimism. Try it, even if it's only for an hour or so at first. You'll be pleasantly surprised at the result, not as amazed as that one. Finally, play yourself a self-hypnosis mp3. This will help your, your mind help your mind put the pieces of the jigsaw and the optimism puzzle together in the correct places. It's another quick and easy way to become a more optimistic person. You can download a track from the link below this video.